as we imagine a new world where police brutality and deadly police violence are not the subject of national news, we too have a moral and ethical responsibility to ensure that we are preparing young black youth in how to de-escalate conflict when stopped by a police officer. We have to acknowledge that at times it is our behavior that is the root cause of escalation. Hence, all of us have a responsibility to ensure that we are equipping young people with the tools and how to de-escalate conflict. But what you want to maintain at all times is maintain your um, demeanor, maintain your, uh, your, your temper, um, stay respectful. Even if the officer is going off, you want to make, make sure you stay respectful that whole time. Because at the end of the day, you want you want to win the you want to win, you want to win the war. Okay? You don't win the fight. You want to win the war. Okay. Um, in that situation, you're not going to win on the side of the road. Even if you best him verbally on the side of the road with the full letter words, um, end of the day, he's gonna win the war. Keep, keep in mind that nothing is fail safe. I'm trying to, just like the taser doesn't always work, we get people with bean bags and they don't work. Yeah. Yeah. bullets in the road. Right, we get people with, with bullets and yeah. they don't stop. Yeah. And, and, and it's kind of like one of those things is, if I told you somebody had a gun, and I was like, hey, take this stick, you should be good. Are you gonna run that room? No, no, exactly. So it's kind of a force on force thing as well. Where is everybody's hands right now? No one in that room. Huh? Where's everybody's hands right now? Oh, well, his head is there. His so, so his hands on his waistband. <laughs> oh, just keep running. Does he have a weapon? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You're not sure. You, you're at least supposed to know if he has a weapon or not. Do you mind if we check your car? Don't let him. No, I did no, not. Consent to a search. No, I, consent to a search. Don't tell him. Don't tell him nothing, man. Why do you want to check? Biggest, the biggest takeaway is when you when you see a lot of things on on TV. When I tell people, like I teach my I teach my family, my boys. I, like if, if you're my son, I want you to come home at night. Right? You have an insurance card on you. Um. Uh, uh, I'm shining my flashlight in the car. Okay. Now what he has right here, I never thought about that. It's actually a good idea. Why? His, hand, his, his hands are hands visible. The whole time his hands are visible. Mm -hmm. This, what you don't want to do. This is what this is what I can tell you. What you don't want to do. Versus, well, we'll we'll finish doing this. I'm gonna get your license and registration, and I'll say, okay, um, Mr. Simon, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go back to my car. So when I walk back, I look, and then what I would probably do. Is go to the other side. Why? This last place he saw me was over there. I'm gonna be on this side. So, what'd you learn today? Um, my name is Sakai Hayden, and today I learned uh, the officer's perspective, which I usually don't hear a lot about. You know, on, as a civilian, I hear a lot about the civilian perspective and how a lot of civilians are treated poorly. And what I learned today was the uh, perspective of what police officers go through throughout their, wherever they work at. So I understood like what I should think or how I should probably think and how I should act. Um, I learned that not all cops are bad. It takes the perspective of the cop side to understand where they're coming from. So they don't usually plan on, you know, pulling people over, arresting people. It's just, you know, it's just their job. They don't like, they don't look forward to arresting people or shooting people or handcuffing people. It's just, you know, they're just doing their job. Like for example, something that they told us today is that <clears throat> you might see this video as the police shame and it was doing what they was 
hired to do. So I don't know, it's just the change of perspectives and just thinking about it.